In this tutorial, uh, we are going to go ahead and learn Inheritance in Objective-C. Um, what you're going to notice that I've done is I've copied our, both our shape.h and shape.m files into the main.m file. Uh, it's just going to make this tutorial a little easier. Uh, that's one of the cool things about Objective-C, is it recognizes uh, if there's an at interface that doesn't have the same name as this class name, uh, that you're declaring a class within a class. Uh, it works really well and really seamlessly. Um, and what you'll notice is, up until now, all of our classes have been, been declared of type NS object, uh, and that just means that we're inherit inheriting NS object. Um, but uh, and that's what this colon means. It means colon the type that you're inheriting from. It's like how every uh, Java class inherits java.lang.object. Um, so. Uh, in a similar way, what we're going to do is we're going to create a few claps that inherit shaped. Uh, so what's going to happen is uh, we're going to create three classes or three shapes classes. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a triangle class, and this triangle class we're going to say at interface because we need to obviously create our interface. We're going to call the class triangle. Our super class is going to be shape. Um, and interestingly, because uh, we inherited everything from shape, we don't actually have to declare anything in our interface. So we're going to go straight to our implementation file. Uh, class is again triangle. And methods. We only need to implement one method that we didn't do before, and that's going to be the draw method. And in draw, we're just going to have one ns log statement. Um, and we're going to copy this over. And what's going to happen is, I'm going to just walk you through it. Basically, we have ns log that says drawing a triangle at percent %d, percent %d, percent %d, percent %d, in percent %at. Uh, percent %at means in Objective-C string. Uh, each of the percent %d's is an integer. And you can see we have our x and y coordinates and our width and height uh, from the struct that we created earlier. Um, and lastly is the fill color. Um, so what's going to happen is we're actually going to, for other shapes, we're just going to literally paste this twice. Uh, we're going to change this to rectangle. We're going to change this to circle. Because I can spell really well. thing that we do need to change that I forgot to talk about is uh, your color name function probably still has return zero at the bottom uh, but what we need to do is <coughs> excuse me <coughs> we need to make sure that this actually returns an NS string so we're going to tell it to return color name uh, and that'll uh, fix a problem that we might have otherwise had and the last thing we need to do is we need to uh, create, or we need to implement all of this in our main method. But the first thing we need to do is we need to create a second, or we need to create one final function. What this function is going to do is it's going to draw all, all of the shapes that we pass in an array. So we're going to call it draw shapes. It will return nothing. Um, what's going to happen is we're going to create an, or in uh, or a uh, strong. We're going to have two parameters. It's going to be strong id, uh, which is it means any type, any object that you can think of can be put in this array. And it's going to be called shapes. And we want to also take an integer parameter called count. And what that's going to allow us to do is, uh, you'll see in just a second. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create an integer for the for loop that we're going to create called i. We're going to say for i equals zero. Well, i is less than count. Add one to i. Uh, and then inside of the for loop in the body, we're going to say id shape. We're going to create an, uh, an object called shape. Uh, and this is something called lazy instantiation. And what this is, is we're saying, we know it's an object, but we don't know what type, so reserve a little bit of memory. And what's going to happen is it's going to pull an element out of shapes, and it's going to reserve the appropriate amount of memory from that. So we want it to be called shapes. 
i, and that's going to dr uh, pull an element in the array. And then the last thing we need to do is we need to call that shapes uh, draw method. And that's actually all we need to do in the draw shapes method. So the last thing we need to do is we need to implement our main function. And what we're going to do in here is we're going to uh, create our shapes and draw them. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create another one of those eight arrays that we talked about before called shapes. And we want there to be three elements. And I'm going to copy in uh, a bunch of text here, and then we'll walk through it together. So the first thing uh, that all of this text does, actually it does the same thing pretty much three times. It creates three objects. It creates a circle, a rectangle, and a triangle. And what each one does is first it creates um, a shape rect, uh, which is that struct that we talked about before. Uh, and it creates it with x and y coordinates and the height and width of the object. Uh, next, what it does is it uh, actually creates the object. Uh, this is how you construct an object um, in Objective-C. You say the class and new. Um, so you can see we have a circle, a rectangle, and a triangle. Uh, and we have three separate colors. We have k-red color, k-green color, k-blue color. Uh, we could have actually consolidated this a lot, um, but uh, just kind of for some for simplicity's sake, so you guys can see actually what's happening, uh, we separated it out into four steps. And then the last thing we need to do is we actually need to call the draw shapes function. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to say we're going to pass it the shapes array, and we need to pass it a number of elements in the array. And for this, we're going to just say three because we know uh, how many elements are in the array. Uh, so it's just going to close that out with a semicolon, and we're going to run it, and hopefully this should work. And it does. You can see it draws our circle, rectangle, and triangle in red, green, and blue at these coordinates that we told it to. Um, we're not going to get into graphics because that's called Coco, but eventually we can actually create an application that will do this for us, uh, but that'll be in a different series. Uh, for now, uh, that's just about all. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and please subscribe. Thanks.